Amy Adams. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I don't intend to take much of the House all on this bill. I just wanted to, to make one contribution that I haven't heard uh, discussed in great deal so far in this debate, and that's really to pick up uh, where my colleague Louise Upston uh, touch, um, point she touched on, which is to, to come back to the fact that this is a revenue bill. It's in the name of the Minister of Revenue, Peter Dunn, and I just wanted to make a contribution uh, wearing my uh, uh, Finance and Expenditure Select Committee hat, I guess, in that not that we were the committee that considered the bill, but one of the issues that the committee has been very much engaged in is the management of tax debt. And I think in looking at student loans, we can't overlook the fact that this is a $10 billion chunk of the government's book. It is a serious and significant part of the government accounts. And steps such as are in this bill that will help manage that tax debt, which, sir, we know is spiralling out of all control, and opposition members have agreed with us on that. We have to get a handle on tax debt. And, sir, the part of this bill that introduces the, uh, the ability of the IRD to put the re uh, compulsory repayments from 10 to 15 per cent when borrowers have been in default of having the correct deductions made, I think is an important one. It is important for managing our tax debt. And, sir, the other thing that it's important for doing is it is actually legislating consequences for failing to live up your, with, to your obligations. And, sir, that's something that I fundamentally agree with. If borrowers are not ensuring that the correct deductions are made, there should be the ability for there to be a legislative consequence for that action. And if that means moving to 15 per cent until the indebtedness is cleared, and if that encourages borrowers to be more compliant, to be more aware, and to take more responsibility for their obligations, then, sir, that can only be a good thing. Thank you, sir. I commend the bill to the House. Paul Carmel,